This is part 8 of SQL Server interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss writing a SQL query to get the department name that has got the highest number of employees. Let me explain what I mean. We have two tables here, departments and employees. Departments table has department ID and department name columns. In the employees table, we have employee ID, employee name and department ID columns. Department ID column here is the foreign key column referencing department ID from departments table. Now we need to write a query based on these two tables which is going to give us the name of the department that has got highest number of employees. If you look at the sample data that we have at the moment, IT department is the one which has got highest number of employees. Mark, John, Mike, all of them belong to department 1 which is IT department. So there are three employees with an IT department at the moment and HR and payroll departments have got one employee each. So the query that we are going to write should return the IT department name. To write this query, it will be extremely helpful if you have the knowledge of group by and joins in SQL Server. We discuss these concepts in detail in SQL Server tutorial for beginners video series. So if you're new to those concepts, I strongly recommend to watch those videos first. Now let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. I've already created the required tables. Here is the SQL script that can do it. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's fire up another query editor vendor. So we want to select department name from employees table and we need to join employees table with departments table and we need to specify the join condition. So what's the common column between the two tables? Department ID. So take the department ID in employees table and join that with departments table department ID column. So what do we want from those two tables? We want the department name. So department name is going to come from departments table and let's also print out the number of employees that we have got within each department. So let's use the aggregate function count of star and let's give this column an alias. Let's call this maybe employee count. So now since we are using the aggregate function here we need to group the employees by department. So let's go ahead and group by department name. Okay, so now when we execute this query, as you might expect, we will get the department name and the total number of employees that each department has got. So here, HR has got one employee, IT with three employees and payroll with one employee. Now this query should only return us IT department name. So for that purpose what I'm going to do is apply the order by clause and then we are going to order by this column employee count in descending order. So now if we execute this query the department that has got the highest number of employees is the first row. So what I'm going to do now is select top one department name and count of star. So when we execute that, look at that, we get the first row. So that is only the IT department. But here we also have the employee count. Let's say the interviewer is saying, I don't want employee count. I just want the department name. So how we are going to achieve that? Let's get rid of this count of star from the select list. But the moment we do that, and then when we try to execute this query, we will get a compilation error. It says invalid column name employee count. So you don't have employee count here. So instead what you can do is just use the aggregate function here. Count of star DSA. Let's execute that. Look at that. We get the department which has got the highest number of employees. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.